Hey everyone, Sonzi's come out with a new cleansing mousse and I really want it. But am I going to get it? Well, shipping is a bit of an issue. It's so expensive. The product itself is 59 American dollars, so convert that to Aussie dollars, it probably end up being around about nearly 80 bucks, I reckon. And then for shipping, I believe it's an extra who knows what, a lot, it'll be a lot. So, although I want this cleansing mousse, it's the latest product that Sonzi has come out with to add to their existing skincare range, which is the Super Serum, the Basic Balm, and of course the Multi Moisture Mask. This thing, honestly, I have still quite a fair bit left and I do use it. Not every day, but I do use it. Now, the cleanser, let's see what the ingredients are for the cleanser. It obviously just says, morning and evening massage two to five pumps on damp skin, rinse thoroughly, pat skin to dry, follow with Sonzi Super Serum and the layer of your multi moisture mask which is obviously putting the super serum on first, following up with the multi-moisture mask. Now, this is a very, very concentrated product. You only need a little bit, but it is effective for people who have extremely dry skin, which I do not have. So I don't really use this much. However, when I do use it, I, I use it on my elbows, I use it on my heels, I use it on areas where it's really chaffed and dry, and it works a treat. Now, let's have a look at the ingredients that are in the cleansing mousse. We have natural bisabolol, soothes the skin, reduces inflammation, and protects from daily environmental stresses. Ginger root extract, reduces inflammation and soothes skin. There's a 45% multi-soothing complex in it which hydrates and soothes skin, reducing redness and maintaining moisture. And we have the rose essence and natural oil from rose hips inspired by Pamela's garden, Pamela Anderson's garden. So when I go in to see what further ingredients are in here, we have glycerin, hyaluronic acid, squalene, the full ingredient list with the first ingredient being aloe vera, the decyl glucoside, glycerin, propanadiol. Look, you know what? Full ingredient list is listed on their website. Obviously, the rose flower oil is the second last ingredient listed. When you have a look at their ingredient list, very small, very, very, very small compared to a lot of other skincare ingredients that you would see in other skincare. Now you can get the Skin Essentials Bundle, which is everything including the cleansing mousse if you wanted to, which would be 236. Uh, is it? Does it include the mousse? Uh, the Skin Essentials Bundle, you get the cleansing mousse, you get the Super Serum and you get the Multi Moisture Mask, except you do not get the lip balm. Okay, so uh, it's 236 American dollars if you get that bundle. I'm going to go ahead and put some lip balm on. Uh, if you, I'm not very much a lip balm, lip gloss person, but I suppose I should start using this up before it expires. Uh, there is no expiry date on the lip balm at all, I don't think. Maybe there is and I just can't see it. Usually it's 12 months, I'm not too sure. I think it's going to be nearly a year since I purchased these products anyway. Now I'm going to go ahead now and apply some of the Super Serum, give it a shake. You know what? I'm just going to do a no makeup at all look today. <laughs> uh, just using the serum. I might as well go ahead and put the multi moisture mask on my face as well. Why not? Let's be extra hydrated today for the hell of it. 
I really do want to get the cleansing mousse though. It seems like it's going to be a wonderful luxurious product to use. I have plenty of other cleansers that I'm using at the moment so I don't need another one to add to my kit right now. Okay, going in with the multi moisture mask. I'm going to get about a pea sized amount. Like I said, this product is amazing for elbows, heels. But I absolutely love the fact that Pamela Anderson is makeup free now. I honestly love the fact that she just has skincare as her as her way of just looking natural and beautiful and she is naturally beautiful but you know I think for anyone who wants to go down the no makeup route do it these days no one should feel pressured to put makeup on and if you want to put a pound of makeup on go for it you know it's each to their own it's what you feel comfortable in if it's that you need a little bit of concealer here and there then put a little bit of concealer on if it's just a lip balm that you want to put on and just a little bit of eyebrows then just do that if it's clear mascara then again if it's really deep beautiful she or even just the glamorous glamorous look I feel that's actually beautiful as well because at the end of the day you need to feel comfortable in your own skin now I would be lying to you if I said sometimes I put on a little bit too much makeup and I can feel it but that's my own doing and I want to do it because I want to achieve a certain look now you know it's makeup at the end of the day you can take it off and if you are the kind of person that has very bad um, type of acne and you want to conceal it and you feel more confident wearing foundation then you do that you do what's best for you you know and uh, if you are a person that wants to just embrace your acne scars everything like that I think that's beautiful as well I think you should just do what you feel is comfortable to you and you shouldn't have anyone telling you otherwise now that's my update you can go ahead and check out more of the information on Sonzi at their website and also read a little bit more about what they do. They're a great company. They they do invest in, what was it again? Let me just see. You can get 10% off your first order, which is pretty standard across a lot of companies, but the co-founder is Pamela Anderson and ever since there's also the co-founder, her name is Marie, and they talk a little bit about what they do on the website, which is so lovely. And they have a commitment to being green. So at Sonzi, we are committed to sustainability and continually strive to limit our impact on the environment. We use recyclable packaging and FSC paper, all certified sustainably and ethically sourced, as well as post-consumer resin plastics when plastic is used. We also use up to 30% recycled glass culet, culet in our glass product. We're far from perfect, but it's our priority to persistently reduce our environmental footprint. So they are doing the best that they can, obviously, which is fantastic. All right, guys. Well, short but sweet update. I hope you... I'll also link the video that I did live on my Sonzi unboxing in the description box below and I will see you all again soon. Bye for now and have a lovely day.